Law's Whiskey House, redefining great American whiskey. Every whiskey we make is on its own road. Creating an heirloom grain war driven flavor experience for our fellow whiskey hunters. What's up guys, so today I wanna to talk to you guys about product commercials and a few things I learned during my last one. So I don't know if you guys know Joey Palmroos or not, but he's a filmmaker and YouTuber based out of Finland, and he recently posted a video hosting a whiskey commercial competition for a chance to win $500, and I thought I might as well give it a shot and enter. Last year I had the opportunity of working with Law's Whiskey House from Denver, Colorado. They sent me this bottle of their four grain straight bourbon to shoot out in iconic locations around LA. And one thing I wanted to do with that bottle that I never got a chance to do was to film a product commercial. So as soon as I saw Joey's competition, I knew this was a perfect opportunity to create something. To start things off, I wanted to start with my set design for my hero shot. So I went and grabbed these Brewlab coffee sacks that I got from my buddy Jesse who works at Brutas Roasting. And then I grabbed this wooden crate to help complement my setting. Overall, I wanted the setting to feel rustic with a lot of texture and wooden elements, but I didn't quite feel satisfied with how things were looking. It felt a little bit flat to me, so I wanted to add a little bit of depth. So I grabbed the rope that I used in my Lucky Jack coffee video to add a little bit of extra layers of dimension, and this really brought my whole setting to life. Now that my set design is complete, the next thing I had to do is figure out how I want to light my setting. So if you've watched my other videos, lighting for video is very similar to lighting for product photography. So I set up one GVMP80 at about a 45 degree angle as my key light, then I place a second light directly behind that light to add a highlight to the bottle and to light the rest of my scene. Then the last thing I wanted to do was to add a light directly behind the bottle to help illuminate the liquid and to make this whole setting pop. So I ended up using an Aperture MC set to a tungsten setting at about 10% power just to give the bottle a little bit of glow. From there, I just started capturing as many diverse shots as I could think of. If I'm being totally honest, I went into this shoot with no real game plan. I just knew I needed to start capturing some glamour shots. As I was shooting this video, I wanted to make sure to cover as much ground as possible. So I made sure to capture multiple angles of the same setting, whether it's me filming the front of the label or refilming my pour shots multiple times. This really helped me add some dynamic elements to my video that I could easily cut together, especially since all of this was shot either handheld or on a tripod. After a couple hours of filming, I was feeling pretty happy with what I captured, so I decided to jump into my edit. The first thing I like to do when my footage downloads is to pick a song. The music you choose will set the tone and the mood for your entire video. Without a good song, your video won't have the same impact otherwise. So I like to use Epidemic Sound for all my music. I ended up settling on Marches by Tiger Blood Jewel and it set the exact tone that I was looking for, but there was only one issue. The beginning of the song didn't start the way I felt like would match my video. So I ended up going through the song and taking all my favorite parts to make it match my edit. After running through multiple variations of my edit, I felt like things weren't really flowing right or lining up the way that I wanted to. But after I started watching it multiple times, I started picturing new and enticing shots in my head. So I decided to go back to the drawing board and set everything back up to film some new filler shots. If you're ever hesitating or questioning your edits, don't be afraid to take a step back to revise to make your true vision come to life. Going back to film these new shots really made a big difference for me for this entire video. So once I was feeling pretty satisfied with my edit, I knew it needed one more thing, which was a sound design. I've been playing around with sound design probably for the past year now, and it's pretty crazy how big of a difference it can make to your videos. Just real quick, listen to this edit with just the sound design turned on. It 
can be a little bit satisfying to listen to and it could give your video the extra little push that it needs to take it to another level. And another thing I ended up adding to this video which I have no experience with or have never done before which is a voiceover. So as I was filming and editing this video I was sending it to some buddies for some feedback and one of them replied saying you should pay someone on Fiverr to do a voiceover. The only thing was I didn't have a budget to pay somebody since this was purely a spec ad. So I ended up resorting to my only solution which was recording it myself. I had no clue how to approach this, so after a few quick YouTube videos, I was able to record somewhat of a decent voiceover. But if this were really a client project, I definitely would have hired a professional voiceover actor, but at this moment, I just had to use what was at my disposal. The last thing I want to talk about is something I enjoyed from entering this competition, which is community over competition. After I posted my video, so many other people who had entered the contest were commenting on my video with positive feedback. It was so much fun going through the hashtag and watching everyone's videos and chatting through the comments. So win or lose, everybody in this competition was here to support one another. I'm so glad that I decided to take the time to film this commercial and enter this competition just because of this one reason. There were so many amazing entries and I hope that we all get the love that we deserve for all the hard work that went into our videos. If you guys have a moment, please check out the hashtag for this competition on Instagram and check out some of these videos. There's so many amazing creators out there and I don't think any of our work should go unnoticed. Thank you guys so much for your time and I hope that you pulled something useful from this video. If you guys enjoyed it and want to see more, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Law's Whiskey House, redefining great American whiskey. Every whiskey we make is on its own road. Creating an heirloom grain, war driven flavor experience for our fellow whiskey hunters.